It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 31st. So we're just going to see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid. This is just like for whenever, the next couple of days. This reading is for the next couple of days. Could be the 31st, could be today, could be tomorrow, could be the next day. This is my second daily vibe. I did one already, but I think it was for me. So I'm just, I mean, I am going to keep it to myself, but... In case it wasn't, what we had was we had a 29 and a 30 here. This was the world. This deck was the world card, which was a 29. And this was garden in the gate, which was 30. 29, 30. Something going in sequence. Okay, so that is a, is a faded event. Of, and then we had a meeting. So there's like a faded meeting that is coming up. Um, somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting. They've been waiting for. Uh, they've been waiting for the um, person to arrive. These were the two cards. Okay, I did use a different deck, but these were the two cards. Okay, so there was a um, a meeting. Okay, this was twenty nine. Twenty nine is a is a fated number. It is a karmic number. Okay, it is. It is, and I know that because I'm born at twenty nine degrees. So this was the first card that came up and I had put it over here, but then when this one came out, I moved this card over here. But anyway, this is uh, somebody that is ready. A cycle of their life has ended. Something is being eclipsed out. 29 is a very fated number as far as degrees go. Okay, this is a karmic number. Um, and this is an ending. So something is coming to an end. This person has made a decision that something is over. It's done. It's over. That phase is over. They've learned some sort of lesson that has caused their evolution. Now they are uh, going to a different place. Okay. They are. This is, this is uh, traveling to a new destination, taking a journey, leaving something behind. Okay. Um, and it's fate. Okay. This is, this is, this is the end. Okay. If you notice two plus nine equals 11. So 11 is a master number. Somebody has manifested something new as well because endings lead to new beginnings. So we do have a new beginning here. Now, this person has been waiting. So this person has been waiting, been waiting for an arrival. There's, they're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, here they come. Here they come. So whoever this person is that has been waiting looks like pretty patiently waiting for her counterpart waiting for this person to learn their lesson or whatever it is. This person has learned their lesson, whatever it was. Well, it probably was a karmic lesson by the looks of things. Now her prayers have been answered. Three is a, your prayers have been heard. Okay. Um, so I feel like somebody's prayers have been heard and whatever they've been waiting for is finally coming. The world, this is finality. Something has ended here. Here they come. Here they come. That's the way I feel about that. I'm going to put these back in the deck. And we're going to start over. Oh my God. Oh, you saw what happened. I can't make this shit up. This was the first card that came out before. <laughs> we have a major completion here, okay? <laughs> uh, this is it. This is it. There's a change of residence. This is traveling. This is leaving the past behind. Something to do with the number 29 as well. And I mentioned that in the last reading. I don't know what 29 means for you, but something with the number 29 is very significant here. Okay. Um, now, if you think about 11, 1 plus 1 equals 2. And we had that person that was waiting. Somebody is going to be uniting with somebody that has been waiting for them. Okay. What's that song? Total Eclipse of the Heart. I don't know how that resonates, but that just popped into my mind. I didn't, I didn't, uh, 
say that last time, but let one more card, please. Man holding heart. So this, and that's who's, remember, in the other one, that woman was waiting. She was waiting. This man has been holding out. He has been holding out. Because he's holding his heart. He hasn't given it away yet. So he is about, and he may be holding his heart still. <laughs> so we do have a man here that hasn't been able to follow his heart or he's been suffering or something like that. But you think about this, this is a nine. Nines are about closure. It's definitely, 10 is the next number. So something, his holding out is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Looks like he's ready to give it away. He's ready. He's ready for love. He's ready for a new beginning. So we do have a man here that has been withholding because he's holding it. He's holding, he's thinking about it. He's about ready to do something. He is. Six of Pentacles. Now this is give and take. Bring balance to a situation. He's going to give. Somebody's going to give something. They're going to receive. They're going to receive something back. Hmm. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles reversed. That's a loss. Ten of Wands. Now this is... This is... Uh, this is taking away from one and giving to the other. This is making a conscious change to drop something because this is dropping and dropping. So somebody is dropping something. They're dropping uh, something, a burden that they have been carrying. They've been holding on to a burden. They've been holding on to a lot of baggage. They've been overwhelmed. So we have somebody here that is letting go. Okay, they're letting go of something. They're just letting it go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to let it go. I'm ready for balance. Because if this is balance, and this is balance awaits. So that somebody is going to do whatever they need to do to bring balance to a situation. Hmm. This is somebody's wish being granted. This is a wish being granted. This is the star card. This person has been... Uh, waiting. This is probably the person that has been waiting because you notice those scales are a little tipped. Waiting for reciprocation. Waiting for praying. And remember I said earlier about answering prayers. This is, and this is, somebody has been praying. They've been praying for reciprocation. They've been praying to get what they deserve. So somebody's prayers really, really, really have been answered here. Whatever they were wishing for, whatever they were praying for, they're about to get because this is receiving. Somebody's prayers are about to be answered. But this is a loss. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a lost opportunity. It may have... Uh, let me get a card here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. That is, that is a... We have a rainbow. So the storm is over. Somebody has been in a situation that uh, killed them by the looks of things. This person um, looks very, very hurt, very, very stabbed. This guy is stabbed. He's in pain. So we do have somebody that is in a lot of pain. This person is definitely in a lot of pain. But it looks like the sun is coming up. The sun is shining and the worst is over. So it's like, yeah. Something ended badly. Something ended very badly. But there's a new day. There's a new day here. There's a new day. The sun is coming out. The storm is over. The storm is over. Two of Pentacles reverse. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Somebody was lacking foresight. Somebody made some poor financial decisions and they may have some regrets. There's poor decisions here. There is. There's, there's poor financial decisions. There's, there's a lack of balance. 
there's a lack of reciprocation there's a lack of give and take there's uh a mess somebody may have been may have bitten off more than they can chew now they're overwhelmed somebody is overwhelmed and there could be a big huge financial loss here they could somebody may be hoping for a payout, or they've been hoping, because this is money, and this is hoping and praying. They're hoping for uh, to receive a job, or to receive money, or something like that. But this is a financial burden. Okay, we got a financial burden here. Somebody is under financial stress, put it that way. Now, this is the end, because this is an ending. Now, the Ten of Swords is giving up. And this is giving, somebody is giving up. They're giving up. They're letting go. They're letting go of this burden. They're letting go. They're letting go. Hmm. Force. This is the death of an idea or person. Somebody is being haunted. They've been haunted by their demons, the demons of the past. And they're carrying this burden. Somebody is being haunted. They're ready. They're ready to just let this go because they can't sleep at night. They're being haunted, especially at night in their dreams. Their dreams, they're haunting them. Somebody is, is really uh, feeling uneasy, put it that way. It's like they had a golden opportunity in their hand. That, but it's like they squandered it. Somebody squandered the opportunity, whether it's a business deal or whatever it is. Somebody squandered a golden opportunity, and now it's over. Okay, we have over right here on both sides. This, this, seriously. Wow. Two of Wands, the moment of decision, getting an answer. Somebody has been unsure of what's going to happen next, what to do next. And they've been asking for answers. They've been looking for answers. And I think they get some sort of clarity. Somebody is going to get some sort of clarity as to what their next step should be. They've been asking for answers. It looks like they're going to, somebody's going to say goodbye. You notice the bye is, is out. Somebody's going to be saying goodbye. Bye to a partnership. Two, two, better, and they're going to become one. So yes, there's going to be some sort of goodbye here. Yes, this is an obstacle being removed. The obstacle of fear is being removed. Somebody has been staying in an uncomfortable situation. They were staying in it, and while they were in it, they were losing. They were losing their stability. They were losing uh, sleep. They were feeling overwhelmed. They maybe have been feeling dead inside. Uh, they probably knew they were hurting somebody. Uh, somebody was being hurt here. Somebody was really, really being hurt. It feels like they were being hurt by another person. Whoever this other person was, the other person was trying to prove something, was trying to prove a point. But they were being uh, haunted by their own demons for trying to prove that point. Now this person has bitten off more than they can chew. And they're not in a comfortable situation. It's very uncomfortable. They've been lying. They've been lying to themselves, lying to others. Now is the moment of decision. Okay. Uh, the moment of decision. We do have a decision being made. There's going to be a loss. And I think there's a financial loss here. Somebody is experiencing a big loss. Put it that way with the Ace of Pentacles reversed now you notice we got all these tens ten 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 this is a relationship it could be a loss of a relationship but there's an op opportunity for happiness headed towards extreme bliss but you gotta let something go to get that extreme bliss and that is making a decision to go after happiness you know the rainbow is bright so this is this is a bright opportunity for extreme happiness so i feel like we have uh, somebody that is making a decision to let go of something that has been holding them back or burdening them and it was probably fear um they were, they were, they had to think about it. They had to, um, oh. 
Yeah, they did have to think about it. They had to, this. They had to go into a time of reflection, but it's time to come out. It's time to come out of this isolation or, or this time of reflection. It's time to reconnect. This is definitely fear. There is somebody here that has been fearful. They've been fearful of maybe commitment, fearful of commitment. That's what it is. Or fearful of not being accepted. But now, you know, they've been hiding because the moon is, that moon is very bright. The moon is fear. So we have somebody here that was very fearful. And I think it's fearful of rejection. Fearful of getting hurt even more. Fearful of rejection. But this is a wish being granted Somebody's somebody's prayers are being answered. This person has been praying. They've been praying to receive something. And their prayers are going to be answered. And it does have something to do with a relationship. This person has been praying. Praying to receive. A relationship. Two of Cups. They've been praying for their soulmate. I mean, praying, 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 praying. So, looks like we have a union here, a reunion. Okay? This is a, this is a, this is a, your wish being granted. This is a partnership. This is a connection. This is an attraction. This is an engagement. These, this is a, some sort of relationship that is stepping it up to the next level or somebody is receiving um, what they asked for in regards to this partner, put it that way. Somebody has been praying for a partner or they've been praying for a relationship or they've been praying for something. Their prayers are getting answered. This man that has been holding his heart is going to give it away. That's what's going to happen. Somebody may be getting a proposal even. They may be getting a proposed to. Um, receiving a gift. And it's a gift of it's a gift of love. I feel like um, this is somebody from the other side as well. This is a blessing. It's like this is what you asked for. That's a shooting star. So this is somebody is 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 getting exactly what they asked for. And it is in the form of love. Okay. But there is some sort of, unfortunately, I mean, the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords, this is, something is leaving with the Ace of uh, Pentacles reverse, I'm telling you. There is something that is going away before you unite with this potential soulmate. There is a loss. There's a loss of one relationship that was um, confining a person. It was keeping a person stuck. That obstacle is now being removed. Okay? The obstacle of uh, that partnership that wasn't practical, that wasn't realistic, that caused all this baggage or whatever is now being removed. So this relationship can come together. Okay? So somebody is about to come out of hiding. They are. Their dreams are telling them. Their dreams and their and their thoughts are telling them. You gotta do this, you gotta do this, but you gotta let go of this other one first. This ace of pentacles reverse. I'm telling you what, somebody is letting something go with the ten of wands reverse and the ace of pentacles reverse. They are letting something go that has been holding them down. It's been blocking them, basically. It's been blocking them from getting the relationship of their dreams, okay? So, I feel like there's been some sort of betrayal, okay? With this Ten of Swords, there's been a betrayal, um, but it's over. That betrayal is over. A decision is being made, Somebody is saying goodbye to the one that confined them, that kept them stuck, and they're moving into something more blessed, put it that way. With these rainbows and the star card, it's blessed. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful union. It's a beautiful partnership. It's a beautiful connection. This is exactly what you deserve. It's exactly what you've been waiting for. So be prepared for, and I think it's a meeting, like in my last reading, it was a, it was a meeting because we had the chariot and this guy and, 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 the, and that one in particular, he had like something in his hand. Um, he, I don't know if it was a, if it, what it was. Oh, look at that. I opened right up to it. 
I was meant to show. I did. I just went just like that and I opened right up to it. So these are the cards that we had in the last spread. Um, but anyway, you notice this guy, he has something right in his hand. So I'm like, I, this guy's making a move. He's making a move. He's replacing fear with faith. He's taking action. And he's coming with a gift. And this is a gift as well. So we do have somebody here that is ready to face their fears. And they're moving forward. They're moving forward. And they're headed towards victory because they have the willpower. They have the discipline. They have the strength. This person is strong. He's gained some sort of strength. This is a transformation. So we do have somebody here that is that is about to make a move, and I think it's a bold move, and it does include facing the opposition. Whoever this person is, they're done playing games. That was the first card out. They're done. They're done playing games. Okay, it's like we, this battle is over. I'm done playing games. I don't want. I don't want to play anymore. I've been grieving been sad but now realizing there's still another opportunity for love all he has to do is take action foolish somebody made a foolish mistake they acted foolishly and now they regret it so somebody is regretting their foolish actions and now they're about to make a big bold move and face the fear face their opposition i feel like this guy's mind is already made up um, he's real close. He's very, 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 very close to being exact at his destination, put it that way. Um, so get prepared for this person that you have been praying for, because this is the answer to your prayers, to make an entrance of some sort. That's what I got. Good luck.